Good morning, everyone. Uh, <clears throat> um, today we're going to start a new topic, all right? And it, we're going to determine if the audit here is a solution to the system. So as you can see, I have a few examples here, all right? And it says, is 4.7 a solution to the system? All right, in order for this to be a solution to the system, all right, both statements, all right, where 2x plus y is greater than 15 and x less than 6 has to be true. All right, so what do we know? We know that the, the pair 4, 7, the 4 is equals to x and the 7 is equals to y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check this in both equations. So I'm going to rewrite the first equation. So this is equation 1, this is equation 2. So I'm going to rewrite equation 1. So it's going to be 2 times whatever x is plus y is greater than 15. All right. So here it's going to be 2 times, we already know that x is 4, all right, plus y, we know that y is 7, is greater than 15. So we have 2 times 4, which is 8, all right, and then you have plus 7, which is greater than 15. 8 plus 7 is 15, but 8 is not greater than 15, so this is a false statement, all right? 15 is not greater than 15, so this is a false statement, all right? So you can go ahead and you can check the second one as well, because what do you realize here is that if you have x less than 6 we know that x is equals to 4 so 4 is less than 6 but and this is true but in order for this to be a true statement both has to be true so the answer for this is going to be a false all right again both statements have to be true so let's look at our second example all right so we have is a to a solution to the system so let's take our first example so we have 2x plus 2y is greater than 20 so we have 2 times whatever x is plus 2 times whatever y is is greater than 20 but again we know that x is 8 and y is 2 so i can replace those here by putting 8 here and putting 2 here all right now this is going to give me 2 times 8 is 16 plus 2 times 2 is 4 is greater than 20. So we have 16 plus 4 is 20 is greater than 20. 20 is not greater than 20. So this is false. All right, because 20 is not greater than 20. Now let's go to the second one again. We have x plus 20 y is greater than 19 so we have x plus 20 times whatever y is is greater than 19 so it's going to be x is 8 and then y is 2 so we have 8 plus 20 times 2 is 40 is greater than 19 so this is going to give me 48 is greater than 19 and this is a true statement, all right? But one is false and one is true, so the answer here is gonna be false, all right? Answer here is gonna be false, again, because both have to be true, all right? So let's look at a third example here. Hopefully this one will work this time. So is one three a solution to the system? So we're going to rewrite the first one, all right? So we have y is less than or equals to 2x plus 1. So then I'm going to rewrite it as whatever y is, is less than or equals to 2 times whatever x, sorry, whatever x is plus 1, all right? Again, we know that x is 1 and y is 3, all right? So here I know that this is going to be 3 and this is going to be 1, all right? So we have 3 is less than or equal to 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1. So we have 3 is less than or equal to 3. Now 3 is equal to 3. So this is true. All right. So now we need one more. All right. So now we have y is less than x plus 7. 
So what is the value of y here? We know that y is equal to 3. So I can come here and I can say 3 is less than 1 because x is 1 plus 7. All right. So from here, we know that 3 is less than, is it 1 plus 7, which is 8? Is 3 less than 8? Yes, so this is a true statement. So my answer for this would indeed be true. Boom. So on IXL, you would click true and you click far, but you have to do the word in order to find it. All right, so let's look at one more example. Let's look at one more example, and then I'll have you guys do some on your own. So it says, is 10 negative 8 a solution to the system? So here, I'm going to rewrite the first equation like we do. Remember, for it to be a solution, both equations here, or inequalities here, have to be true. All right, so I have 7x plus 10y is less than negative 10. So it's going to be 7 times whatever x is plus 10 times whatever y, whatever y is, is less than negative 10. So again, what is x, what is y? x is 10, y is negative 8. So we got 7 times 10, and then we have 10 times negative 8. Alright, so 7 times 10 is 70, and then we have positive 10 times negative 8 is going to give me minus 80. Alright, is less than negative 8. 10. So we have negative 10 here, because when you say 70 minus 80, negative 10 is greater than negative 10. This is false because it's not greater. All right, it's not greater, so this is false. So now I check my second equation, which is 6x plus 10y is less than or equal to negative 20. So it's 6 times whatever x is plus 10 times whatever y is is less than or equal to negative 20. So we know that x is 10 and y is negative 8. So we have 6 times 10 is 60 minus 80 is less than or equal to minus 20. So we have 60 minus 80 is minus 20 is less than or equals to minus 20. Negative 20 is equals to negative 20. So this is true. But again, the whole system is false because both equations or inequalities are not true. And that's how you do it. So good luck with your IXL. Um, looking forward to seeing you guys um, Friday. I'm looking forward for everyone doing well on these. IXL, all right. Remember, this is the start of a new quarter, new semester. So let's stay on top of business and try to get everything done. All right, have a good day. Bye. Mm -hmm.